Today, I'm going to be disassembling this Tesla Model 3 headlight to see how it's constructed on the inside and show you all um, what what it looks like on the inside and how to disassemble one of them. So this one here, see it's missing a large chunk out of the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by getting this lens removed so that we can start disassembling it and see what it's like on the inside. Okay, so got the lens removed here and here you can see the inside. Give you a quick walk around of the light in with the lens off. So here on the inside of the lens you can see the plastic bezels that are the that are screwed to the, the lens via a whole bunch of little individual T20 torque screws. And here we can see the the interior of the light. So here we can see the, the light bar that is going to run up to the LED turn signal module. It's this here. So we have that upper one. Here's the main LED low and high beam. Here is um, another LED light bar and we can see that it looks like most of this is held together with with Torx T20 screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and start disassembling this interior here and we'll see how this is put together. So again, here I just got a Torx T20 screwdriver and I'm just gonna start removing screws. So that was just three T20 screws that held on this bottom LED bar. And here um, is just a little plastic wire harness clip. So just lift up on that and it should slide right on out. Okay, so let's see if I can show you this. So there's a clip here that holds this clip in place and then inside of this clip is another clip that holds that in place. So you have to lift up on this clip, push down on this clip to remove it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and try starting to remove this top light bar. So we just got a single black screw. And I believe that we can remove these three T20 screws. Remove those three T20 screws, and now we have another wire clip. Just push in on the tab, and that one will pop right off. So now we've got the main LED driving lights here. Let's see. Looking around here, see one screw, and that is the only screw that I currently see. So we've got a couple black ones hidden in here. So 
I'm going to see if we can't twist this cap off. To the left, and I'll do the same thing here. And one's going to be a little bit trickier. Let's see. Okay. All right. That cap is off. So now we have access to couple of screws holding these back pegs on. I don't know if you're even going to be able to see these. Let's see. There you go. So just inside of the hole here, you can see the, the back of the mount that is holding the slide in place. Yeah, let's see, that's pretty loose, so I don't think that that's actually affecting it. Okay, let's see another T20 way back in here. Let's see, probably have to do this one completely by feel. So this one over here is holding in a fan. Right, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove this top LED. So we can now just unclip that LED from the wire harness and now you can see here the second mount that I'm trying to, to get access to. But since I now have access to that, I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these top LEDs. Okay, this one's just being a little bit stubborn. Alright, got that one off. Alright. Alright, so now we have all of the LEDs removed from the reflector. Now we can see that we have three sets of two of these little mounting, mounting brackets, clips. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try to 
pry some of these off. Alright, we got the, the middle set out at least. This first set here still does not want to budge. First set removed, second set removed, now we're going to go after that third pair of mounts. Well, that final final mount gave up. Um, you can see here. You can see here how this this mount here, this metal mount, is part of the housing, and there's these black plastic clips that just press straight onto this, and it's really meant to be a one-way attachment. Um, you're not meant to remove this multiple times and put it back. And as we can see here, the reflectors are all put together using this contraption to allow the reflectors to move slightly. But it's three, the reflectors is actually three separate pieces. Go ahead and set that to the side, and now with that out of the way, we can now see the wire harness. So, let's bring this in for a closer view. So here we can see the the motor, the AFS motor that allows the headlight to go up and down. And here on the the outside edge was the fan that helps keep all this cool. And then as we can see the, the big wire harness that runs throughout the light, here is the connector to the to the ballast and control unit and as we can see that is all operated off of this single three pin connector so my best guess here is that you know one of these is you know positive 12 volts the other is minus 12 volts and then a third is used for two-way communication between the rest of the car and the ballast itself so, give you one more view here. Here's, here you can see all of the individual LEDs. There are five of them comprising, uh, that make up this headlight. So, anyway, I hope you find this useful or you at least enjoyed watching it. So, thanks for watching.